When you hear the name Ricky Stenhouse Jr., what comes to mind first? I'm guessing most of you immediately thought something like inconsistent or unreliable or worse. Not exactly glowing reviews there. Kyle Larson just dropped a truth bomb that's making the whole garage do a double take. He claims Stenhouse might secretly be the most mentally tough driver on the circuit right now. Let's dive into this shocking statement and debate. First, let's talk about the psychology of what Larson based this on. As fellow golf lovers, they face off fiercely in that wild NASCAR golf mashup, the Golf Guys Tour. And there, Ricky has utterly dominated. I'm talking three wins out of six seasons. He's been in take no prisoners beast mode when he tees off. So Kyle witnessed firsthand his borderline psychotic levels of focus and drive to never ever cave. According to him, Stenhouse flips an unbeatable switch in his mind, almost snarling, in the golf course, he's fun to watch. Larson said, when he focuses, when? He's just like I'm not losing, he's not losing. It's a cool mindset to see. Larson believes he transports exactly that strong mental aptitude onto the asphalt too. We definitely witnessed that alpha side flare up during his iconic Daytona 500 victory, right? After 500 heart-stopping miles, the dude was willing that car to the finish by a hair. No doubt in my mind that laser mindset paved the way for the legendary photo finish. Same goes for his Talladega trophies over the years too. Nobody dares doubt Ricky has the mental grit for super speedways. But then this messy 2023 season roared around. Essentially his coming out party after years stuck mid-pack. JTG isn't exactly Hendrick Motorsports here, folks. Their resources are beyond slim compared to the big boys. According to Kyle Larson, I know a lot of people probably don't believe that because of his results or whatever you want to call it in NASCAR, but I think a lot of race fans don't realize their team and how small it is and their resources of not having as much as a team like ours, or honestly, like a lot of other teams. As a playoff newbie, could Ricky keep up with the sudden media glare, sponsor demands, and fight night after night with cutthroat drivers at their best? Well, not so much if we're all being honest. His fire fizzled faster than a dropped cylinder, eventually bowing out before the real playoff intensity even kicked in. No shame in that though. He scored more top fives in 2023 than the past three seasons combined at least. But this brings me to a critical point and why I firmly stand by Larson's big claim here. See, I'd argue Stenhouse's ugly playoff beatdown is the ultimate proof of his mental hardness. Lesser drivers would have crumbled under that abrupt pressure cooker completely, especially on a tiny team. Yet Ricky regrouped, put his nose down, and kept slugging those next weeks. No public dirt flinging or temper tantrums that I saw. And I'd bet my Rolex his fierce competitive persona behind closed doors drove the squad crazy re-strategizing for next year's redemption shot already. This was a priceless sneak peek at the unique mental test the playoffs throw at you. Remember, raw talent will only get you so far once that championship eliminator begins. You better have a bulletproof mindset. So in closing, laugh all you want at Larson's pick, but mark my words that Ricky's setback has only intensified his will to win in the end right off this underdog team next year at your own risk. Whoa, now that was a lot to digest. Larson and other experts make some bold claims about Stenhouse's mental game that really made me think. Even with his up and down record, maybe we've been too quick to write off his playoff potential if he can put all the pieces together. Let me hear your spicy takes. Will Stenhouse defy odds and truly make noise in 2024? Or should we chuck this mental toughness talk as laughable hype? Sound off in the comments and smash those like or subscribe buttons. Thanks so much for watching Gearheads. Now let's roll out.